probably will not look very good crossing a military <laughs> checkpoint. I understood about 30 words. McDonald's is the same everywhere, but it's got these slight little differences. Hi, we're Becca and Joel. For the past month, we've been traveling Baja in our van, Popple. But now it's time to say goodbye and cross the border into the USA. But first, let's squeeze in a few more adventures before our final adios. You know, like try a McDonald's, open a coconut, watch a movie in Spanish. Classic Mexico things, right? You know, this is hurting me so much because I know how to open a coconut. Ow. This is nuts. You're scaring me. Joel says, McDonald's is the same everywhere, but it's got these slight little differences. Our mission quickly derailed as our attention was caught by the theater. Classic actors. So we're looking for a washroom in this mall. They won't let me use the washroom unless I have a boleto. So, why don't we just watch a movie then? Although, to be fair, we really had our bladders to thank. Four fifty Canadian. Pay that for a bathroom in some place. We go in front of them. Those. Here we go. Here we go. Boleto. What do you think, babe? Well, that was fun. <laughs> I understood about 30 words. <laughs> yeah, I understood like even less than that. Even though we just had a bunch of popcorn, we're still on the hunt for this McDonald's. After trekking the entire mall, watching a movie, and trying our hardest to find the McDonald's, we decided to try our luck in Mexicali before crossing the border. Okay, hey, we finally found a McDonald's. La Paz let us down, but you know what? Mexicali, they have McDonald's. Let's do it. So much for that. We forgot that McDonald's doesn't serve its traditional food until noon. We didn't really want a McDonald's breakfast here. Take three on trying McDonald's. Chicken Big Mac? We may have just bought three. We only wanted one. That's what happens with the language barrier sometimes, I suppose. Let's hope we got our order. <laughs> this point, you know, it's been a very interesting journey. I've never seen this before. I don't know if it's just because I don't go to McDonald's, but we have. No, definitely not yet in Canada. Psych. Ah, so it is in Canada. Chicken Big Mac. Look at that. It's probably not real. Cheese pie. It's a little not hot. It's like a cross between cream cheese and pudding. It's gonna be a little warmer. Mm. Yeah, not gonna have this again. That is all salt. This is just like a little flat of salt here. It's so cool! Call us crazy tourists, but we were like two kids in the candy shop here. This salt is as natural as it comes. And we felt like regular foragers harvesting a few crystals. We took some. Probably will not look very good crossing a military <laughs> checkpoint. <laughs> Maybe we didn't think this through. <laughs> so we are... <laughs> Watching Breaking Bad right now, and oh, this looks an awful lot like a mysterious substance. If it was though, this is pure. That's what we learned. <laughs> mm, oh, that's that's salty. Do you do you lick it? Mm. Should we risk bringing this with us and having um these gorgeous crystals in a bag? Okay, we could grind it up and put it in a salt shaker. Yeah, if we That's smash nice. it a little bit, I feel like... It'll look less 
Conspicuous. Conspicuous. Okay, let's de de criminalize our salt supply. Buy crystals. After taking to the internet and asking you guys if it was safe to eat, we decided to try our luck. for supper. That's some more of the salt. This it was really good. Well, Mexico, you've been good to us. It's now time for us to wrap up the few loose ends and get ready to officially cross the border. So it's about that time that we're preparing to head out of Mexico. So let's see what else I can munch down in the next couple minutes. I do not care if we have a few vegetables that get thrown out. It's not our fault that border crossing takes our food away. Joel, on the other hand, he wants to eat every single last bit of the food before we cross the border. Which is why. There we are. That's the border. We're getting so close to being in America. We made it through the border crossing. That was what, like a three hour ordeal? It was just mostly a lot of waiting though. So it wasn't yeah. like they went and searched anything. Came in and got basically our um, the avocados. <laughs> the avocados. I read on a blog you can take the pits out and then they, they're fine. <laughs> Do you know what? I bet you that they would have and she just didn't know that. <laughs> she was a character. It's fun though. Just wanted to complain about her job. It's kind of sad. It's a dream that we've had for the past two, three years. It's now, is now done. We have completed that dream. We have gone to Mexico in a self-converted van and now it's about dreaming up the next dream. Next week on Becca and Joel, we expand our travel to take in the great city of lights, L.A. As professional actors, this is as close as we've ever gotten to experiencing the Hollywood dream. You won't want to miss out, so hit that like and subscribe to stay in the loop. Bye for now!